All right, so we have, um, let's see, assignment one, two here, and uh, we'll get right to it. Um, so, <clears throat> number one, shown here are the first three arrangements in a sequence of tiles. Describe in words only the tenth arrangement, so anyone who reads your description could build it. Um, well, when I look at this, I see that figure one has two and figure two has three. So it's one more than the figure number. So the, the tenth arrangement um, would be um, a row of eleven tiles. Remember rows, uh, a row goes side to side and a column is up and down. Okay, so those are two good words to use. And uh, B, the number of tiles in the fourth arrangement would be five. So on the grid below, make a graph showing the number of tiles in the first ten arrangements. So here we have the number of tiles and the figure number. So figure number one had two tiles, and two had three, and three has four. And remember, it's one more than each. So we keep plotting these up, and then we're going to make a line through them. And then uh, Part D asks to find an expression for the number of tiles in the nth arrangement. So we will use uh, N for the uh, figure number, right? So. In our previous examples, we had figure 1 had 2. So it is n plus 1. Okay? Uh, number 2, shown here are the first three arrangements in a sequence of tiles. Uh, so when I look at this, I'm looking for patterns again. I see a, uh, a row of 3. I see two rows of three, then I see three rows of three. So then part A, the tenth arrangement. Well, I would have, um, let's see, ten rows of, ten rows of three tiles. And then the number of tiles in the fourth arrangement would be, um, well, 12. And then let's see, on the grid below, uh, make a graph showing the number of tiles in the first five arrangements of the above sequence. So one had three and two had six. So let's see, one for the figure number, and then the number of tiles was six. Oops, sorry, did I say uh, three? Erase that. Uh, one had three, and two had six. That means three had nine, and four had 12, which is kind of slightly off. So we're only going to do the first uh, four arrangements. It'll look something like that. And then a quick little uh, review. Sketch the graph of exponential decreasing function. Let's blow this graph up. Um, so what we've seen is we're usually using um, uh, just this quadrant of the graph so far. So we can do that. Uh, do it in that color. And exponential decreasing, I know it's going down. And since it's exponential, I know that it's not a straight line. So I'm going to do something like that. Something like that. And that's it.